I wear a lot of hats. Not literally, but like figuratively. As a blogger, I cover everything from travel to food to fatherhood, but my bread and butter, at least professionally, has always been technology. And that's why today we're taking a look at the Google Pixel 3, or rather the Pixel 3 XL. This is the larger version with the notch on the 6.3 inch screen. There's also the smaller version, which is $100 less, but it's functionally identical. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you with all the specs. I'll just throw them up on the screen now. And you can read those over at your leisure. The point of today's video is to focus on the unboxing, to see what's included in the box, some first impressions of the phone, as well as the two key accessories that Google has also provided me with, the uh, Pixel stand, which is the wireless charging stand that goes with the phone, and the fabric case. Let's start by unboxing the phone itself. The packaging is very similar to what we got with the Pixel 2 before this, and I think the even the first Pixel was kind of like this as well. Regular kind of box. Says Team Pixel on the back. It doesn't say much in terms of the specs, aside from telling me that this is the Pixel 3 XL with the 6.3 inch screen, 64 gigabytes of storage in clearly white. There's also a, a black version and a pink version, and it's also available with double the storage at 128 uh, gigabytes. So, as I understand it, this should come off straight like so. And there is the phone itself. As you can see, yeah, even from the box, uh, this white version, it has the green power button on the side. It's all one piece, including the little screen protector bit. There is the green power button on the uh, right-hand side of the phone, if you were holding it facing yourself. The volume rocker below that. Single USB-C port on the bottom and they've also moved the SIM card tray to the bottom So what that means is that the entire left side of the phone is completely blank and Then the top side just has a small microphone for noise cancellation and that kind of thing uh, echo cancellation, so uh, You'll notice just like the previous generation. There is no three and a half millimeter headphone jack So I'm gonna start booting up this phone first because it's probably gonna take a second you can already see the notch there. It's it's very clearly a notch and you know, it's not small. In terms of size, this phone has about the same footprint as the BlackBerry Motion than, that I've been using as my day-to-day -day phone for now. Um, so it's, you know, oh actually that boot up pretty quick. So I'm gonna go through the rest of the box before going through the setup, so we'll, we'll do that first, but that's a quick look at the, the phone itself. Oh, and it is a glass back for the, the wireless charging. So it's a little bit more of the glossy, slightly grippy part on top and more of the matte finish on the bottom. Um, some people have asked me about like the slip test and it's, it's slippery because it's a glass finish, but there is like a mild texture to it that gives you a little bit of grip. And then you have the, uh, the aluminum frame or all the other around it. So, uh, not super slippery, but given that they gave me the, the fabric case to go with it, I will be definitely putting that on the phone for a little bit more confidence when holding it. I do have a tendency to drop things. So I'm just going to leave this here uh, while we go through the rest of what's in the box. Popping off, open the first bit here. There is a thing to slide out for the SIM card release tool. Um, some basic instructions in various languages about how to get started a Google sticker and a Team Pixel sticker. Some more instructional material. So I don't actually need to buy the $30 USB-C Pixel Buds because they are included in the package, fantastic. So it connects with USB-C. Let me take this little band off here. The shape of the buds is pretty much identical to the wireless uh, Pixel Buds. Maybe a little bit cheaper version, but you get the little adjustable loop so you can fit it onto almost any size ear. Uh, and then the earpieces themselves are very reminiscent of uh, Apple's earpods. Connects to the USB-C, and then there is an inline remote here. And from what I understand it, if you long hold the button in the middle, that launches the 
uh, Google Assistant. There is a USB-C to three and a half millimeter headphone jack included as well. USB-C to USB-A female if you want to use like a regular USB flash drive or whatever for external storage transfers and that kind of thing. USB-C to USB-C cable, the little power adapter brick with USB-C. So that's why I use the USB-C to USB-C cable as mentioned. And uh, this should be compatible with fast charge. So it's five volts at three amps or nine volts at two amps. So uh, pretty quick. You can get up to what, what does that work out to 15 watts or 18 watts uh, charging. So pretty quick. And I think that is everything that is included in the main box here. The, the fabric case for the Google Pixel 3 XL is also available in a few different colors. The one that they gave me is kind of this uh, charcoal, this charcoal black kind of color. So you'll know that this kind of fabric is pretty much identical to what we've already seen on the Google Home speaker products. If you have a Google Home, Google Mini, Google Max, it's the same kind of fabric finish. And it's got this uh, directional, uh, I don't know, what would you call this, velour kind of finish on the inside. So it's soft. I'm not so sure how this will hold up in terms of like waterproofness or if it gets wet or something like that. That's something I might check out a little bit later. But let's just go ahead and put that case on here. So you can see that there is the physical power button there that still has like a plastic finish, but the volume keys are wrapped up in the fabric. So just from a tactile perspective, it's easier for you to tell the difference between the volume buttons and the power button. The case itself adds a little bit of bulk to the phone, but actually not that much. But you will notice obviously that the uh, fingerprint sensor and the camera are gonna be recessed on the back. You still have access to the USB-C port and they say that even with the fabric case on, you'll be able to use the wireless charging stand. No problem. And last but not least, we have the Pixel Stand. So it's compatible with all Qi wireless charging phones, but obviously it's optimized to work with the new Pixel 3. There's supposed to be a software thing that's built into it so that when you're wirelessly charging the phone in the stand, it can function as a, uh, a digital photo frame, pulling pictures from your Google Photos account. I don't know if that's necessarily a feature that I want to use per se, because it feels kind of counterproductive. If my phone is charging, I want it to charge and having the screen on and going through photos is necessarily consuming battery life. But kind of a cool feature to have if you want to be able to use it. So uh, let me go ahead and open up the Google Pixel stand. Pop that open. Da -da -da -da. And there is the Google Pixel stand. And there she be. Um, oh, there's protective on the bottom as well. So the base of the Pixel Stand has this grippy rubber texture. It's very similar to what I found in the Google Home Mini and the other uh, Google Home speakers. Bright orange, so you can't lose it on the bottom, but when it's on a desk, you don't really notice it. And then it's a USB-C port underneath here for you to feed the power, which I'm assuming the power cable is included underneath there. Um, there's a little grippy ledge here for you to place your phone. What is unfortunate from what I can tell is that the stand itself is not adjustable at all. So you can't make it more vertical. You can't flatten it out for travel. That's something that I think I would have liked if this was movable. So I could fold it down flat if I wanted to take this with me traveling. So clearly it's not designed for that. It's designed for you to be able to leave it on your desk and just leave it there for when you want to charge your phone. Uh, documentation, nothing too exciting. The same wall wart as the one that comes with the Pixel 3, so it has the same output ratings, 5 volt at 3 amps, 9 volts at 2 amps. So yeah, it's the same output and the same USB-C cables. That is it, that's included in here. So it's supposed to be pretty straightforward, just put it in and it charges. I think that's it. This video actually ended up running a fair bit longer than I had previously anticipated but hopefully it was informative for anybody that is interested in picking up this phone, uh, give you a sense of the different accessories and things that are included. Obviously this is not a full review. I'll be putting the 
phone through its paces, especially the camera and all the different software updates. That's kind of the main thing that differentiates the Pixel 3 from the Pixel 2. Uh, I'll be running through all of that and then the full written review, along with lots of pictures and photo samples and all that, should be up on megatechnews.com soon. So until then, and until next week, I am still Michael Kwan, and you guys don't forget to stay awesome. Peace. Oh, that's long.